what is up what is up what is up guys welcome back to another video with let's keep it real um before we get into everything don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh to let's keep it real turn on those post notifications so you know what new videos are coming out and everything that we discuss is alleged we can't confirm another not child why come Nata has not paid that little gal that did her her out there uh, for the bet awards out there in L.A., remember she was in that hotel room and that, uh, uh, your little young girl, I think her name was Asia, she did her hair, y'all, and she said she didn't even get paid. I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And what happened was, what, what, what had happened was that, you know, the girl Asia who did her, who did Netta's head and everything, you know, I think she did a, a fabulous job because she was, she was doing it. She well, anyway, let me back all the way up from the very time when Asia, uh, who had met Chazanetta for the first time, because when she did a hair, you know, for the BT Awards, you know, of course, that wasn't her first time meeting them. You know, she did that hair before, and I think she said back in May sometime. And she said what she did was reach out to uh, Netta's and them business manager. And she's like, you know, I do their hair for free because she wants to get herself out there, you know. And uh, she, you know, she would have went on to talk about the reason why she volunteered her services for free. The first time was because she had had, a, you know, um, a illness where she had to go in the hospital and have surgery and everything. And, you know, she wanted to get back into and get back into her field, which is uh you know cosmetology doing her and she thought that that would be a good way to you know get back into the field which i'm like oh okay that is a good idea you know and so you know she stepped on out there and she did they her i mean shit she did net as her and and you know i don't even remember what it looked like because the girl said they didn't do no videos and nothing you know yeah y'all know why they why were no videos posted you know because we should have seen some videos but anyway so then you know when they needed uh netta needed her her done again you know she um you spoke with the, the manager or whatever uh, of, of miss Ned and charles and i think his name was carlos and um she agreed to do that her again but you know this time it wasn't supposed to be free she was supposed to be paid make a long story short the i think the manager had told her after she done did they her and everything that that they don't have the money they don't have the money to pay her and i'm i'm just sitting there looking at the, the video like are you kidding me number one where this girl went wrong she said she's from fort wayne indiana i said oh poor thing she, she's green y'all she didn't know no better you know and i feel bad that the girl got used like it but you know you got to learn your lesson you know because she's she's out there in la and i'm sure it's a, a whole bunch of fast talking people and she got to learn quick okay so once she found out that they didn't have no money you know i'm sorry she was in the middle of doing her obviously or she found out from the beginning i don't know that was never clear exactly when she found out at least from what i was listening to and so you know she uh was like okay i'm not gonna do them like that i'm gonna do do her her in netta's her anyway you know because she, those are her friends and yada 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 girl and so she went on and did they her and then like i said she didn't she didn't get paid for you know because they ain't had no money number one who goes out of town and ain't got no money unless that was just somebody just trying he was just trying to play on that young girl which i believe it was a little bit of both you know because what what nobody eating no fabulous restaurants here no you know four five star restaurants number one while they was down there you think i'm a who gonna go down there to la just to eat at a, a hot dog stand and you can ready to go to the bet wars the next day child please you should have been out there trying to rub elbows with the celebs and everything at the, the party beforehand okay and then furthermore i'm sorry as i can be but if you if you trying to get into the industry baby you have a you have to have a makeup artist that's going to go places with you okay that's going to travel on the road with you her and makeup same person okay because there's some that do both ain't no ain't no way in the world you should be taking no chance going out there on a humdinger thinking you're gonna have a hairstylist and all of that and a makeup artist lined up no 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 you should have your own and the only reason i say you should have your own that travels with you because when you're going around saying that you are an icon icons then you should have all of that lined up with you going on the road with you okay you do you think janet jackson wait to get somewhere and, and try to find a stylist makeup artist and all that oh no she don't she got her own riding with her you know because she's an icon so when i hear somebody says that they're icons that's what i would expect and then you know so again getting back to about you know her not being paid and everything you know she was like those are my friends and, and so then uh i was like her friends i said did she not see miss netta turning her face all up every time she was talking to charles i seen it i seen it 
I said, why is Netta acting like it? I mean, the girl's just being friendly and talking, talkative and everything. And, you know, like she said, she's from a small country town, Fort Wayne, Indiana. So, I mean, she was just trying to uh, basically get in where she fit in. She thought that they was cool. But I seen how Netta was cutting them eyes. And then when that girl's mama called and her mama kept on talking, you did y'all see Netta's face? Was I the only one who seen that? Did y'all see her face? Netta's face. I said, ooh, look at Netta. Got the nerve to be mad and knowing all along y'all didn't have no money to pay that girl. Then you got the nerve to be sitting there with your face all turned up like you bad because she done took a call and, and this girl ain't getting paid. You see what I'm saying? She should have took all night to do that her or all day to do that her, okay? They would have missed the red carpet and everything because if, if she doing that her for free, honey, you on my time. You is on my time, point blank, period. <laughs> y'all and then somebody had called in i think it was a caller that called in and the caller said um that you know she was too nice and everything which the girl was she was very nice too nice too nice to the point where they they played her okay somebody played that poor girl and i was just like oh my god this is just sad she didn't get paid for nothing and you know like different uh somebody was saying in the comments that you wasn't gonna get you wasn't gonna get paid because Netta was being a hater. She was being shady, and on top of that, the caller had said some about, and she didn't even post uh, none of the videos that she did on on her page. And I was like, you know what? Now that I think about it, Netta didn't post none of the videos from the live like Netta normally does. What no videos up there for us to see the girl and you know all this and that and shot the girl's page. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I recall seeing anything like that, you all. But anyway, I was just like, it's a sad, but you know when you. You in this industry, she should have got a contract up front and then she should have had a deposit that she, you know, had, uh, that they would have had to put down before she would have touched any piece of that wig. Do you hear, do you hear me? Ain't no way in the world she should have went in there doing some hair, A, without a signed contract and B, without a deposit already done hit her bank account. Okay. But you know what? It's a lesson learned. You know, you live and you learn. And sometimes you got to learn these lessons the hard way and everything. But that will teach her a valuable lesson um, in the future. And, and and hopefully she knows better now. Baby, get it in a contract, even if you got to send it as a PDF because they had another state in another state beforehand. Get you a, a contract signed. Send it by PDF, honey, and get them to e-sign it and send it. And then it automatically be sent back to you and then then that also make sure that deposit hits your account for you touch any type of head the day of okay and that's gonna save her a whole lot of grief and and a whole lot of you know thinking oh i thought they was my friends and yada 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 okay because when it comes to business all of that stuff takes a uh, uh no 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 stop it Stop letting people use you and play you. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Let's Keep It Real. And I'll see you all soon. Carlos, I, I, I under, I, what I thought, at least, was that he was the one who manages everything. So he controls the money and things like that. And see, I, I, got, a th I got a theory on that. I think that Carlos is also Roy. See, I, let me see. I'm with your theory. Okay. Something ain't right. Yeah, yeah. We gonna, we gonna talk about it. Bias from Carlos, but something ain't right. We gonna, we, we gonna talk about it. I'm gonna let you finish the story because he, great minds, great minds. I think Carlos is raw. I think he trying to get all the bags. He trying to wear different hats as the same person. Uh, well, my first initial theory before talking to Miss Netta yesterday, which I'll tell you what that conversation was, but is that Carlos was, as a manager, as the creative director, as everything he's saying that he was, I took it as maybe they pay him a set fee and are like, hey, make sure the hair, makeup is together. And then he kind of goes out and finds the people. And then I feel like he kind of like negotiates so that he can keep more of the money. That, at least that was my thought. I could be wrong. Yeah. And Carlos, you want to join the live because I'm, I'm curious to hear. I, I thought you had his number. I sure was going to call him live on air. Oh, I would love to call Carlos, but I don't. But I can definitely call him on the FaceTime on on the Instagram. But I don't have his number. So um, when I came, so then he messaged me, and he was communicating with me all before this, y'all. Like, so after the first, you know, thing, it was fine. I will say the first time I did her hair, um, I didn't take no videos. I, we didn't even go live. We didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? In fact, another person ended up getting credited for the work that I did because Zeus had brought her in to curl her hair. Right. Which I was a little bit different. But anyways, 
the, we, me and Carlos communicating, you know, talking about just everything outside of, of this, just like regular life barbecue and cooking, things like that. Then the BET week comes in and he's like, um, hey, you know, are you going to be free this day? And I'm like, yeah, I'm free. And then he's like, okay, I need you to do the hair, blah, blah, blah. But mind you, prior to all of this, I had said, I'm done doing, I'm done playing small. I'm done doing free stuff. Like, um, and he's like, you know, you're really good, Asia. Honestly, like people loved her hair. Like, just like, kind of like reiterating everything I had said. So I'm under the impression that he knows it's about to be paid. But then he says, they don't have any money. And I'm thinking in my head, they was real good people. They was real cool. It's Hold on, wait, 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 wait. He told you that they ain't had no money? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. Wait, wait, wait. This is what he said. And before y'all, before... before no, no, because I know now Miss Miss Nutter and Charles, they be draped. They be... You ever say you don't put that on? Yeah, but Carlos is also lying. Because I used to be on YouTube... A, a long time ago, and Carlos is lying. They definitely do have money, but even the richest person has a budget. The Facts. Facts. And I know Gucci and them, they be sending them like one-on-one -on -one pieces, like Miss just the other day okay, for the fourth. I don't know about. I don't know about. I don't know about the clothes. No, I no, no, no. no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This, I listen. I'm with you. Like I just seen Miss Nelda in a bust down Gucci onesie. With, with a drawstring. I know that for a fact this was a one-on-one -on -one piece. Like, Gucci himself made it. I wear Fashion Nova, okay? Okay. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a, uh, a, a Sheen guy myself. But I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I do Sheen. Yeah, yeah, I do Sheen for men, okay? But I'm just saying, um, I, I just know but that I they got know it. I you're saying, though, but they do got it. But you also got to realize, too... Because I live in, I, I'm from a small town in Indiana. Look, I'm from Fort Wayne. Let me put my own. You're from Fort Wayne? I'm from Fort Wayne. Lord have mercy. <laughs> she over here playing down her face like she ain't get on, y'all. <laughs> I'm thinking you from somebody's suburbs. Girl, they be playing out there in Fort Wayne. No. I did go to private schools, though, and I got <sighs> from Howard, HU, you know. Lord but have mercy. I, did, I am from a small town, and I will say that. Being that they're from this small town in Alabama, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between my hometown and their hometown. So you have to understand these are people from a small town city who have blown up on a platform, you know what I'm saying? And they're new to entrepreneurship and to just the, like, everything they're seeing is, is big. Even when we were talking about rent prices, I'm seeing her like, man, this little one bedroom is $3,000. They're like, what? Like, because for them... Downtown, you can get a really big place for fifteen hundred in a city, but that's just not what it is. So, I don't think that people like think about that when they think about a small town person now being in like really big cities. You know what I'm saying? So they wear that kind of stuff. They be wearing the, the uh, they be wearing the, the the stuff back there. So they wear that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, I said all that to say that they have money. They just have a budget, and Char Carlos did not explain no budget. He just said, um, yeah, they spent all their money to get here. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to make somebody go to no awards. Like, now that I know, it would be different if I didn't know. Yeah. But now that you brought it to my attention and you're telling me that they don't have a hairstylist and he, you know, they, they spend all their money to go to where I'm going to do their hair for free out of the kindness of my heart because they're my friend. So... I did the hair, you know what I'm saying? But then it wasn't, and I wasn't even upset. I did the hair. I thought it was cool. We had cute. We had a good vibe up in there. I was having fun. I did miss, you know, going to the awards to do her I, hair. And I that seen was, that. Like, you had tickets to the awards. And, oh. Um, yeah, I did the, the, the seat filler ticket. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because you could have gave your ticket to Miss Nelda, Miss Charlie, and one of them could have got in at that point. No, 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 no. Because I didn't, and to be honest, I really thought that initially, but then my friend was like, you got to go through a screening process. So, like, and then the ticket has my name up on there. So, I don't know if, like, when you get there, they, like, check your ID or what it is. I think Miss Nelda can go for Asia. Hmm? Huh? I think Miss Nelda can go for Asia. Uh, <laughs> Miss Nelda is awesome. Okay, I'm playing. All right, okay. Because Carlos said they're going to Cardi B. So Ms. Netta was right when she said that they were supposed to go to Cardi B because he told me they're supposed to go to Cardi B tonight. And I'm thinking, well, who going, how her hair going to be done like tonight? Like it's Friday already. And Thanks. Carlos is still in Colorado where he from or where he live at. So I'm like, the manager not here. They're supposed to go to like 
this don't make no sense. So I, that's why they probably didn't go to the Cardi B because Carlos didn't even have the details for the Cardi B. Then he said, then tomorrow, the next day, I think they said that they had like a celebrity game or something like that. Yeah. And then he was like, they're going to need somebody for Saturday and Sunday. Carlos, now, now, you asking for a lot because now you want me to go find you a make. And then he said, Do you know somebody who do makeup? 